What's up guys, my name is Devin, also known as FBE, and welcome back to another episode of Footballers. In this video, I'm gonna unbox the Nike Vapor Edge Dunks and give you guys my first thoughts on them, what I think, and just kind of carefully go through every aspect of the cleat. Let's get into it. All right guys, so here are the cleats right here. Finally got my hands on them. Here is the box. I did get them in an eight here, Nike Vapor Edge Dunk in your regular Nike orange box. Nothing special um, for what I expect to be a very special and very popular football cleat. Let's dig into the box. Woo -wee! Check these out. The Nike Dunk Vapor Edge football cleats. What's the official name? I already forgot. The Nike Vapor Edge Dunk. Check it out. Check out the textures. Check out the swoosh. So we are going to get some cardboard in there, some tissue, and the toe. Quality on these feels really nice. Except we do have a weird spot here. Nah, you don't love to see that. But whatever. Let's just first get a nice detailed look at the cleat here. That swoosh is unreal, dude. It's got like kind of a rainbow effect to it. And then the actual dunk overlay or whatever is like a, a textured material, which I don't think is on the regular dunk. I don't know. I don't have any of those panda dunks. Then you have this tongue that's not really a tongue. And it also has an iridescent Nike swoosh as well. And then the back tab here, it's going to say Nike and that iridescent. And it is... So the Nike Dunk football cleats have been really hyped up over the past, I don't know, six months or so. Nike started by giving them to some of their premier athletes. We saw Kyler Murray in them, Sauce Gardner, Javon Holland, Kayvon Thibodeau, Michael Parsons. A lot of guys wore these Nike Dunks during the NFL season, and I did hear that they were going to be released to the public, and here they are. So Nike dropped them on February 14th at 10 a.m., and they sold out in under an hour in pretty much every size. So pretty tough to get your hands on these, and people are already reselling them for a whole bunch of money. Let's see if these cleats are actually worth it. In this unboxing period, we're just going to look at the cleat. I'm going to give you guys my first impressions. We're going to go over all of the unique details on this cleat that make this cleat special. So the first thing I want to talk about is this cleat is essentially the exact same cleat as the Nike Vapor Edge 360 Pro, but with a different overlay. It seems that basically it's the same base. You've got the same sock collar. You've got the same heel loop. You have the same edge traction plate, which we've talked about a ton on this channel, but we are gonna have some external lacing. Will it actually tighten up the cleat or is it just for show? I'm not sure. We'll dig into it in a second. All right, let's kick this off by going throughout the upper and just taking a look at this cleat. Start at the heel. Like I said, we've got that nice iridescent Nike on the heel. You do have a nice heel loop to pull those cleats on. And then here is the dunk upper. It does have a bit of a texture. I don't know if you guys can definitely see that. And then the swoosh also has a, a texture you can actually hear, but it's got a cool iridescent effect. You guys can kind of see the rainbow, hopefully. And then all of this, I don't think it's leather. It's like a synthetic material and it's just like, it's textured, it's weird. And then the laces here have these cool, unique specs, which seem to be a theme throughout the whole cleat. You've got the iridescent Nike, the iridescent swoosh, um, even this nice metallic iridescent green here. And then again, on that heel part right there. Also, you got some nice little, what are these called? Aglets, right? Aglets got this nice uh, rainbow iridium finish as well. So here's kind of a look at the inside of the tag on the tongue, similar to what you find on a regular Nike Dunk. And it looks like this upper is actually connected to the cleat. It's not just kind of placed over um, on the side there. It is sewed to this cuff so it's not kind of a separate piece and then underneath it all actually comes together and it looks like that's where the seam is and they covered it up with this white overlay let's take a look at the insole real quick hopefully it comes out easy for us the nike ones usually do and it does so this is going to be the exact same insole that is on the nike vapor edge line which is no surprise because this is another nike vapor edge it is a little bit stiff but overall some pretty thin foam you're not going to get a ton of rebound and comfort but nike likes their speed cleats to feel raw like that feel really snappy and then notice this green Grid here this grid actually locks into what is underneath um, I don't know how well you guys can get in there but there is a plastic shank that runs through and it's a grid and that's what gives the cleat its snappy stability this it's kind of their replacement for their old uh, carbon fiber length traction plate they used to run it's, I think, a lighter alternative. Also, the tongue on here is pretty much like a Nike Dunk tongue. It's got some some solid cushion to it, um, but it really doesn't play a role in the actual, how the cleat's gonna feel on foot. Essentially, the upper is just on top of the liner of the Nike Vapor Edge 360 Pro. So it's basically the same cleat, just a little bit different. I am curious how the weight's gonna be because this is definitely a thicker material than what's on the regular um, Vapor Edge 360 Pro. This is a 
more of a thinner material here, but this is like a thicker fake leather type material. So, and I mentioned it a little bit earlier, but we've talked about the traction plates a ton on this channel. This is the Edge traction plate. Nike came out with this, I think three, maybe four years ago now. This is a two piece traction plate. You've got the forefront plate here and then the heel plate here. You've got all these sharp triangular studs, one there, one there. Then you have these unique edge studs, which are at the outermost part of the cleat, as you guys can see. So when a player goes to cut, that's going to be the first thing hitting the ground. And then you guys can get your traction and get out of the cut. No problem. This has been a super popular and successful plate from Nike. It's one of my best easily on the market because of how well it grips into the grass or turf. It's a great cleat for any skill position player. And as I demonstrated earlier, the actual shank inside, it's pretty stiff. So it kind of springs you into your next step, kind of like the old Nike carbon fiber cleats did overall big fan of this traction plate it's definitely one of the best ones out there nike really puts a lot of effort a lot of research into developing these traction plates and there's a reason they've stuck with this for the last four or so years something i love about nike football cleats is their sock liners and you guys can see this is going to be the same liner as the vapor edge 360 pro but it's a nice thin breathable cuff that does stretch a lot so you guys can get your foot in there hopefully no problem um, but it does give you a nice tight hug around your ankle which I personally like. I just like the feeling of a cuff. I think it feels really nice. Um, and I think it looks really good as well. Since this is a first impression video, my first impression of this cleat is that essentially it's the same as the Nike Vapor Edge 360 Pro. Maybe it's a little bit heavier, but it also looks a lot better in my opinion. Um, and the popularity of the Nike Panda Dunks has been off the charts in the sneaker world. So it's honestly not that much of a surprise that Nike has brought it to the gridiron and then they debuted it with some of their best athletes. Michael Parsons, Saquon Barkley, Sauce Gardner, a lot of those guys pulled these out already uh, about six months ago let's just let's just take a little look at some of the details here just kind of go through it slowly for you guys you kind of get that iridescent finish here on the traction plate as well it's kind of a bluish shimmer as i move it in the light you guys can kind of see that and then the green big fan of the screen i'm i like the color green so uh you, you get that kind of metallic flake look these things are pretty smooth. Now, the question I'm going to keep asking myself throughout the review process is, are these worth 160 bucks at retail or 300 plus on resale? Like I mentioned, some people already got their hands on them or already reselling them on eBay, StockX, whatever, for well over $300. It's a good looking cleat. Of course, it's going to be one of the trendiest, most fashionable, stylish, swag, drip, whatever you want to call it, cleats in the game. But I think it's going to perform very similarly to the original Nike Vapor Edge 360 Pro. And these honestly look pretty good as well. Obviously, I think a lot of you guys, because of the hype, are going to choose this one. But performance-wise, I'm sure it's going to be very similar to this. Just give you guys one last look at the details. The laces, they've got this cool speckle, which is really nice. There you guys have it. There's the full unboxing and first impression for the Nike Vapor Edge Dunk. Make sure you come back in a week or so for the full review video. Are these cleats worth $160 retail or $300 plus on those resale sites? We'll let you guys know in that video. My name is Devin, also known as FBE, and thank you guys so much for tuning in to another episode of Footballers.